Big Game Millennium Shoes. We're here right now with the New Balance 577 Bodega Hypercat FTD. Fresh to death. Check this out. We got a translucent blue outsole, off white midsole with the end cap branding. Run up to the forefoot, you got pink, which goes right to the toe. Hit up the upper, you got a purple alongside the New Balance and the plastic cap. Go up alongside that, you got this beautiful gravel suede, almost like an off-white, almost like a gray, I'm going to call it gravel. Go alongside here, this fantastic jersey, cotton, and gray with hits of pink, yellow, blue, real fresh, got that nice specking throughout, very clean. Go up to the New Balance end, you got a beautiful golden end alongside that off-white around it. Hit of the purple suede on the forefoot. The toe cap has that gravel running throughout it, then as you go into the toe box, more of the gravel, however, heavily perforated. Go up to the mid, once again, you have that flock jersey cotton with off-white laces on the mid, going right above the perforation, leading you up to the tongue, more perforation, and of course the New Balance branding with this very beautiful pixelated branding. I'm going to get a little bit more into that in a minute. Quick shot of the medial, much the same as the lateral, minus the end cap branding. Shot of the heel, you can see pink alongside the piping and the lining. New Balance, embroidered in purple over the purple suede heel cap. Come back down, you got that gravel and then the purple. Quick shot of the insole for you, very fresh. Love that print. Shot behind the tongue for you. Of course, you got that pink, as I was mentioning, that's running in through the lining of the shoe as well as alongside the collar line. Quick shot of the sole, translucent blue, as mentioned before. New Balance branding. Very clean. Gonna give you another shot of the other shoe for you, real quick. As you can see, this one's a little bit different on the insole. It's got the Bodega 577 Hypercat branded right in there for you and the print is a little different. Also comes with an optional lace suggestion right here, real fresh, got that little bit more of a white this time with hits of purple, real clean. Now looking at both pairs of shoes, you can appreciate the difference. Taking a look at this tongue, you can see the ship from Star Fox. And then looking at the other one, you see the tab is different and then of course you have the fox, these being the ears, the eyes and the mouth. Love how this one's playing off a little bit more of the purple and blue, and this is a little bit more of the white and beige. As well, you can take a look on the insole on this one, is a little bit different than the other one. And then this one also has a call out to Bodega and the Hypercat, using more of a white insole as opposed to the right foot, which has more of a purple one. Now, if you didn't know, this the concept Bodega was following with this was to go off the Star Fox video game, a game that originally debuted on Super Nintendo back in 1993, and I gotta tell you, this was one of the games back in those days. I myself can tell you, I was rocking and playing that game back in the day, don't judge, it was a cool game. Nevertheless, I think Bodega did a great idea, or had a great idea by calling back to that game, something that I'm sure a lot of the younger heads out there weren't aware of, and kind of seeing how that can transcend into the Role. It's always cool to see how these inspirations come together and I truly think it makes you appreciate the shoe a little bit more rather than being a random collaboration. Truly, there's a story and you have to appreciate that. Also loving what Bodega did incorporating Action Bronson into their promo for the shoe. I think they did a flawless execution on the shoe as well as the storytelling experience has been unmatched. Perfect. Anyhow, come check this out. Shoes dropping this Saturday at Millennium Shoes. We have very limited pairs, so don't be disappointed if you don't get yours. Get in early, and most importantly, let's just keep it safe. No shenanigans, no craziness. They're just sneakers. Let's appreciate them. Love them. And if you don't get them, don't worry. We'll move on. There'll be another great shoe coming up. All right? This is Mickey from Millennium Shoes. We out.